All right guys, so I'm fishing down here in this lake in the middle of a drought. Sorry, I don't have my GoPro, I'm a one-man team, but I have a decent one on. Looks like about three pounds-ish. Uh, doesn't look like he's doing too healthy, but yeah. Oh man, the water's up there usually, and there's just this little puddle left, but I get a video of this fish. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so I'm at the bottom, and man, it feels like I'm in the Grand Canyon. Holy crap. I mean, just look at that wall right there. Wow, this is obviously a rather deep pond, and it's usually really good fishing because the owner has it stocked. That side is the creek that feeds it, and over here is the dam. And uh, you just take a look at all the kind of structure. Like here you have a stump. All of this. And that's what the fish are sitting behind. That's what we catch them off of. All of this structure. You got a rock. It's pretty cool right here, as you can see. There's obviously a little crevice right here. Probably big enough for a six pounder to sit underneath. So, you know, a bass could wedge itself right here, come out and ambush its prey. So, that's pretty cool. You got a little hump right here. And just all kinds of stuff. You got this little ditch right here. This ditch goes down and down again. But I mean, man. So, yeah, guys, this is what the uh, bottom of the lakes you fish look like. Just take a good look. I'm sure you've seen it on a graph and always wanted to see it in person, so here you go. Got a bucket. As you can see, someone man-made this structure. He's got a, probably what used to be a tree, but now it's just a stick and a concrete bucket. There's another one. I guess that's what it used to look like, full tree. Man. Yep, so this is why you gotta work your bait slow. You know, you gotta find this stuff with your jigs when you don't have a depth finder in your pond fishing. Crankbaits, jigs, anything. This is the stuff you're after. This is exclusive. Go! 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 